Bonjour, aujourd'hui c'est mardi and no, there's no end in between so aujourd'hui c'est mardi il pleut 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 il pleut il pleut it's raining it's raining I'll catch you later because this is the worst time to do vlogs under the rain all right greetings it's 9 30 so it's bonsoir <laughs> yeah no mm. ice is melting and of course what topic should I say? Yeah, there wasn't any much topic. So let's talk a little bit about how this winter is. So let's begin. Um, for equipment wise, I only bought boots. And that costs, I think, $250. So that's one. Um, didn't buy anything. Oh no, I bought a new gloves, a new neck warmer, and a new ear muff. Good news is, they are like $2-$3. Each so it's about ten dollars. Let's give let's put 20 just for the sake of it. So it's 200 and let's round up 230 dollars, all right, plus tax. So that's that. Yep, no new jacket, no new stuff, no new socks. Well, technically, I bought socks for everyday use, so that's ten dollars. So 240 dollars, let's put it there, and a knee pad. So the knee pad was a bit useless, but it was useful, but at the same time it was useless because it's very hard to wear, I don't like it. Then again, maybe fat ties. <laughs> no, knee, it's a knee brace. But then again, you cannot pull up to my thighs, so big legs, perhaps. Anyway, knee pad's about $30, so $270. And uh, what else? What else did I buy? Locks, yes, locks and stuff. Okay, so miscellaneous and stuff, three, three hundred dollars, right? Three hundred dollars in equipment. Now, to have a recap, I think I spent about thousand eight. Let's say two thousand. Okay, let's round it up. Let's include miscellaneous up two thousand for last winter. So this winter, three hundred dollars to begin with. That's good. Uh, I know this year is a bit tough because I went back to Malaysia so I think I have one, two, wow that's actually very little, two, two really two sessions, two sessions on the local hill that I usually go last year and uh, one, two hundred, yeah two hundred dollars for the, for the expensive hill that I didn't go for, I mean I bought three tickets but I only used two, that's no 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 no. And uh, the other one, I think it's about hundred and fifty dollars. That is include transportation and everything. Sixty, hundred, hundred plus thirty, hundred and thirty. Yeah, let's let's round it. Hundred and fifty plus food. Okay, hundred and fifty. That was my last. Actually, that's the last snowboarding trip. So hundred and fifty, two hundred, and I know I pay around thirty as well. So let's round it up to fifty. Two fifty. 350, 400, so it's 700 in total plus the local hill. Yeah, should I go twice? I thought I thought I went more than that. Let's see. In the month of January, I went once and then took a two week break and then come back once. So that's oh, ooh, almost died. Uh, so that's about 100, 110 dollars. Okay. And then after that, I took a break, went to Bromont, that's the $200 thing. And then took another week break, went to there. And then last week I didn't go because it's, yeah, like that. Huh. One, two, three, four. Really? Four times? Well, four times for snowboarding, that's very bad. This winter is actually very, 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 very bad. I thought I went around eight. Anyway, yeah, $700. That is everything. So compared to last year's 2000, this year is pretty much okay. Of course, I wrecked this thing of, from laser tag. It's, it's annoying, right? It's annoying. but. Since I don't get to buy, let's say if I were to buy jacket this year, so let's throw in another three hundred. So it's thousand dollars. That's with boots. Yeah. Okay. You know what? This winter is lackluster for me because I went back to my home country, 
and uh, I didn't go to, well because I don't have my own board I don't say I don't have my own board but yeah no it's weird why I did not go every no I so I missed out one whole month yeah no yeah correct correct it's correct because last winter I did actually around March I did go in as well so March if let's say I were to include another 200 300 dollars yeah so yeah it's about a thousand dollars right in total it's about a thousand dollars not because I bought jacket but yeah everything so half price from last winter I think that's okay because last winter I spent extra helmet goggles that's that's about 200 200 plus 300 300 300 800 yeah no so yeah my so the math is relatively there it's just that this winter i went half half so it's bad it's just bad no i'm gonna go here because there's more light so yeah that's my winter uh, it's sad because i don't get to go out to where i want to go often and practice but at the same time i did more ice skating which is in hindsight it's a little bit better but could have been more more active why uh, it's hard when you organize with friends because usually I'll just go alone so there is that uh, some of my friends only go one time this year one time for skiing so eh, I think it's okay I think it's okay got a few nice footages uh, in fact I got two skiing footages for a thousand bucks yeah GoPro which is half dead but then again it's now sort of working so I don't know whether should I replace you by the end of the month because because big news big news should I reveal it today or should I save it up for tomorrow let's save it up for the end of the week because I'm trying to put as much stuff as I can today uh, today this week before the big reveal because next week or rather next two weeks it's gonna be fun 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 that's a little bit teaser and uh that's it that's it for today i'm gonna go back yeah i gotta go back go back and other than that um i think that's the end of the vlog for today what should i talk about tomorrow point of failure already done i think i've already done that done that well most of the stuff that i need to get out from my system i already put in on the vlog yeah uh, it has been a one roller coaster ride when I came back here. And in fact, you know, I went back to ch for Chinese. No, I didn't even get to celebrate Chinese New Year properly. But I did get to celebrate a little bit. That's nice. Um, so, yeah, beginning of this year is actually quite an quite a roller coaster ride. The question is, how long can I last before I go back to Malaysia? Huh, that's another hint another hint hint and I'll save it up for tomorrow and tomorrow tomorrow and tomorrow 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 if not there's nothing else to talk it's been five minutes it's been enjoyable until then I will see you tomorrow time to add some vocabulary in okay so let's do some French lesson before I close so Monday is Mardi. today is Mardi. 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 McCready. McCready is tomorrow. Mardi. I, I need to double check, okay? So, Londi, Mardi, McCready, tomorrow. And then John, Jordi. Jordi is Thursday. Friday, I totally forgot what I said. Uh, Sam D is Saturday. And D Bunch is Sunday. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! Only question is how to say today is what day? So, uh,. Says is is right, but depends how you use it because like Monday, today is Monday. It will be says Londi Ojo Hui, which is is Monday today. <laughs> what a weird thing, right? French is weird. Un, uh, un, yun, un, un is a, a, a. So that's quite obvious. Uh, so sunny is solie. Oh no, although per, uh in uh, uh, ah, great brain freeze uh, spelling is e n solie l e e the guy says a different way the girl says a different way johnny is day uh, what else 
Yeah. Il notch. Il notch is snowing. Il plunge. Il plunge. Il plunge is raining. Yeah. Until then, I'll see you tomorrow.